What's going on YouTube? Check it out, Ed here with TGH. And today, we're gonna do, you know, some of what we used to do a lot of, the day-to-day -day stuff. So let's get inside the man cave and do some cleanup. Join me on today's vlog. Day to day, I'm on a genetic hunt. It's a lust, it's a love. All the colors in the phase in the man cave be brave, surrounded by exotics. Genetic hunt the life, living like moving erotic. All right, guys. So here we are. We're gonna do the same thing, you know, that I'm pretty sure all of you guys do on the daily. Now I like to use these little, uh, these gloves. Let me show you right here. Same thing you see, like in standard kitchens and etc. So you get a lot of them. How many came in this pack? That's a thousand pairs. Okay. Thousand pairs there, it's only a few bucks. Now, what I like to do here in the man cave is you know, the stuff that we all do. Get my pumps. Some of you have one of these, some of you don't. We all have different techniques. Just make sure you're giving them some clean water. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the first time we've ever done something like this. This is gonna be the narration over what obviously is the fat Native American going ahead and uh, replacing water. So yeah, we do this check every day. Um, it's supposed to get done multiple times a day. Now I'm gonna be doing it myself personally in the mornings when I get in. I'm gonna talk with the little mini hunters and see if they'll do me a favor and go ahead and do a double check before they go to bed at night. That would definitely be a big help. And you know what? It's important for us to do what we gotta do and stay on top of everything. So what we're gonna do is make sure to continue to do those two checks a day. Make sure they have what they need. Obviously, I don't need anybody else to pull out anything. So if they notice something that's like, you know, a major, uh, you know, I don't know what this guy's talking about. He's like taking up my airtime here. Hey guy, get back to work. Okay, there he goes. He's getting back to work there. So again, we wanna make sure that they get the opportunity to check on them and then even pass on some information. So I get to get home before they head out and they can always say, hey dad, this one, you know, did a massive mess. And if their mom's home, their mother has no problem whatsoever dealing with the snakes. So she could always take care of something that needs to be addressed immediately. So I definitely appreciate that. I'm very happy that I have that with my wife. Look at this guy, he's just talking. He just, he doesn't stop talking. That's all he does, you see that? I mean like, just go ahead and put the water in the bowl, man. That's what you gotta do there. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, you know, go ahead and continue here. I am really excited that the G-Stripe has been doing exactly what I need her to do. She stepped up her game recently, so that's really good. She's been grubbing. She was a little having an issue with some stuck shed. Transferred her over to this rack system. Um, and yeah, I mean, well, she's always been there, but not in that uh, particular tub. She was in one of the larger ones. Um, we put her down into a smaller one, and that's been helping her out a lot. And then right here we have obviously Ed's first snake, that's the banana. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm infatuated with him. I think he's an amazing snake. And if it wasn't for his beauty, then I don't know if I would actually be doing what it is that I'm doing now. Now, if you notice, I did tap the rack right there. What I'm talking about is how we're in melamine racks and that black rack right there is made out of uh, plywood actually, but it's coated with con safe paint so it doesn't have any issues with moisture or anything like that. Yes, Ed, we're watching you. We're, we're, we're all right here watching, bud. <laughs> so either way, this is, like I said, the normal check, getting water, making sure everybody gets that attention they need. It looks like I had to empty that. Yeah, you know, there was like too much stuff inside there. You see that right there? And of course, that's not good enough. So of course, we're gonna rinse that out. Make sure we don't have any particulates inside there. You know what I mean? But again, it's important. I feel like, would you want to be drinking filthy, dirty water? That's like Aspen piss tea, if you really think about it. Now, I wouldn't want to drink that, and I know you wouldn't want to drink that, so let's be realistic. I'm pretty sure they don't want to drink that. Look at him. There he goes. He's just talking again. But this is finishing up pretty much, guys. Uh, we went ahead, gave water to everybody. 
well, almost everybody. Um, I'm definitely happy that we have this set up the way we have it. Now it's in the house. Um, so for me, I just feel more comfortable because they're in the same type of climate we are. Uh, I don't have the AC blasting like crazy. So that type of stuff definitely helps out. And I'm able to step my game up, do what I need to do. Having them so close as soon as I walk in. And uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a big plus. So I really appreciate all of you guys coming over here and taking a look at, you know, some of the basic day-to-day -day stuff. Again, much love to the community, what you guys have been doing, what you guys have been repping, spreading that hashtag positivity, spreading the word of the movement. It means the world to me. I'm definitely, definitely so humbled and appreciative because at the end of the day this is what it's going to take guys it's going to be all of us working our butts off together as a community to spread that word it's you guys out there doing it it's definitely not just one person it's definitely not just a group of people it's the entirety of our community if we come together and we do the right things then guess what i think we'll be able to shine we'll be able to show the rest of the world what we're about how we've been doing things and you know what let's lead by example guys um these are our friends right yeah look at this clown he gets that bowl and no matter what he knocks the water out of that single I just, it's non-stop so in that moment i was thinking about it and i said you know what no we're gonna change this out uh, i'm gonna show you this other one here we keep them nice and clean and all that goodness um yeah it's just because i never know if i'm gonna have to throw something in there or if last minute i'm gonna come home with a purchase i need to set up so i like to keep those ones right there keep everything in one space pretty much so we're taking care of the clown that little dude he's a knucklehead he likes to make a mess i love it so much just seeing that they all have different personalities they're all doing different things how many of you guys actually spend time with your animals and actually sit there try to learn their habits, learn their personalities. I think it's important, guys. It's something that I like to do. It gives me time with my snakes. It makes me appreciate what I'm doing. I'm stoked about it. I hope you guys are feeling the exact same way that I am when I'm doing these things. Cleanup time is important to me. I enjoy it. I know you guys must enjoy what you're doing because guess what? You're still doing it and you're motivated and you're consistently striving to be the best version of your guys' self possible. Why does this guy keep looking at the camera and talking? I'm talking right now, guy. Anyways, so I do appreciate it again. Now, hopefully, hopefully you guys are all enjoying this. And if you are, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the content, guys. Share it with a friend. Let someone else see what we're doing here. Because at the end of the day, we just want more people to come back to our community and vibe with them. That's what I think this is all about. TGH is about that positivity movement. That's why we went ahead and pushed this and have been starting from the very, very beginning of our channel to be as positive as we possibly can. Again, hashtag positivity movement was not started just for me, was not started just for my household. It was started for all of us. So guys, continue to be the very best version of yourself. It won't be as it once was. But I definitely appreciate you guys. Much love to you. And we'll see you on the next vlog.